Harsher punishments, including bigger fines for errant real estate agencies and their agents, have been passed in Parliament. The changes will also give the Council of Estate Agencies more power to investigate and collect evidence for cases like giving misleading information about a property. It also states penalties for housing agents who help foreigners hide ill-gotten gains in the Singapore property market. It's a move aimed at bringing Singapore in line with global money laundering and terrorism financing efforts. With a number of high-profile cases of errant agents in 2019, MPs said the stiffer penalties and deterrents were timely. But they asked if the safeguards would make it difficult for firms. To that, the Minister of State for National Development said the changes are mostly to bring Singapore in line with international standards issued by the Global Financial Action Task Force, or FATF. Estate agents and salespersons are already required to fulfil duties to counter money laundering and terrorism financing. Disciplinary action can be taken for the failure to perform these duties today. The bill merely inserts express provisions on these duties in the Act in order to comply with FATF recommendations. He added the CEA has worked with the industry to come up with guidelines for agents. This includes checklists to sieve out suspected customers intending to commit crimes like money laundering. Still, MPs also asked if more training could be given to agents to better serve customers. That's especially with the COVID-19 pandemic forcing operations to go online. I hope more training and courses can be made available to estate agents to hone their communication skills, keep their knowledge up to date and reinforce information about the laws and ethics to abide by. I think that this will help to reduce the amount of dissatisfaction towards the industry, especially in cases where unprofessional conduct was intentional, not intentional. Mr Zaki assured MPs current training includes digital skills and helps agents keep up with laws and policies. Labour MP Melvin Yong also asked if agents' licence fees can be waived during this tough period, to which Mr Zaki said the government studying the matter carefully amid similar calls from the industry.